Good morning, guys. Slept so good. Check this out. This is the view I got from bed. Well, we're gonna get up, get moving, and cook breakfast. We'll go on a hike. Stick with us, guys. I'll wake you up. <laughs> That's cold, man. That's like a uh, snow runoff right there. Like I said, guys, welcome to day number two of this shed hunt. If you haven't seen day one, please go check it out. I'll put a link in the description box below. I found one of the coolest things I've ever found while shed hunting. It's kind of cool, kind of sucky situation. Anyways, go check that out so you can catch up with us. Because today is day two. I'm out here with my buddy Joel and his girlfriend Ellie. They're in the jumping jack right now. And check this out, I'm getting breakfast ready to go. These guys are gonna wake up to breakfast in bed pretty much here in the Utah mountains. We got some uh, hash browns, some bacon going. You know we got the goods for eggs, some cheese, and uh, yeah, you know we got breakfast burritos this morning for these guys. This camp has just got the full setup. So we got the table off the jumping jack. We've got the Yeti cooler. It's full of all the good stuff, enough food for a few days, two and a half days. We've got the camp chef, a jumping jack, canvas cutters where I slept, not a bad little place to wake up, and of course the quad. So yeah, today we've got an all day hike plan. We're gonna kinda explore some new country and go up into some of this high country that I've never been at. It's, it's the end of April right now, so the snow's melted. It should be perfect, and if we're lucky, we can find some elk sheds. Guys, Eric doesn't mess around. There's some cheese if you want it. So yeah, we got breakfast burritos. Just enough for probably a couple each. This, we have really small tortillas. Joel was nice enough to get these uh, low carb ones. <laughs> Help me out. So I'm actually gonna have a breakfast burrito. We, we need some carbs, dude. <laughs> We're say. about to go on a death hike, so We're I don't know. Go smash I'm trying to eat really here. clean, so I'll just... Keep it, uh, keep it mellow when I can, but honestly, it'd be smart for us to fuel up right now because uh, we're gonna be burning a lot of calories here in a second. How is it? So good, man. So good. Coming at you live from the GoPro. Try something new here. I'm getting ready. We're just packing up our bags for the day. So I just wanted to organize everything, take out things I don't need, garbage, toss that stuff. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm packing real quick. This is a tuna packet, the big outdoorsman's one. I got a blaze shot, mountain ops blaze shot, mountain ops ignite, baby wipes, fork, lighter. I always have a lighter just in case. I have backup batteries for my vlog cam. Let me throw those in there. Almonds, the whole thing's not full so it's not too heavy. Just enough for snacks and lunch. I have a hush beanie. This is pretty much to cover the GoPro when it's not on my chest. Some sunscreen. I have, I'm packing four waters, so I've got two waters on each side pouch. And then I'm gonna grab some snacks. So let's see what we can find. I'm gonna take an apple, probably one of these peanut cliff bars that we got at the store. Uh, sweet and spicy, back up tuna packet, Ooh, yeah. a vlog camera of course, keep it nice and lightweight because hopefully at the end of the day I'm packing off a bunch of elk sheds. So all we can do is hike around and do our best but we're locked and loaded guys, let's go. Let me know in the comments below if you like this point of view, the chesty cam. I might try it when I'm picking up some, some sheds and stuff. I think it'd be a cool point of view for you guys. We made it. You, yeah, anywhere right there is good. We made it to our spot. We're gonna get the backpacks, get uh, the binos on, and we've got probably three or four miles 
just hiking up the bottom until we get to where I want to go. <laughs> Ellie did not wear tall boots. So Joel's going to do her the favor and piggyback. This could get dangerous. Well, at least Ellie has dry feet. <laughs> I bet that was a little deep for those ones, huh? A little bit. We're oh yeah, they're not too bad. Not too We've got a couple miles on the horse trail before we get up there and peel off, kind of like we did yesterday, just a completely new area. Again, this is somewhere I've never been. Just hoping that some bulls shed up high. I don't know, man. It's hard to predict where they're going to be year to year. Every year seems to be different, but even if we can get in some whites, I'd be happy. <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. I walked around these cedars right behind me. I saw this stick just got out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, brown antler. I mean, like, got my heart racing. Clearly, just a stick. But right 30 yards ahead of that, there is a white elk antler right here. There should be more. So, especially when it's a white one, this lane right there. Check that out. Five point. Nice. That gives me a little boost of confidence. Coming all the way back up in here. We just barely pulled out of the bottom too. So, not a big one. Oh man, I don't care. This is like the size of the one that Joel found. Alright, we're in them. I've got to slow down. I'm going to wear myself out, guys. Getting a little extra motivation, though, because we've already found two sheds, and we literally just pulled out of the bottom. So I've got my white, this one, on the pack, and Ellie found a, a brown five-point, it sounds like. I think we can all at least find a couple sheds today, so we just got to keep this momentum going. So I'm going to sit here and glass some of this country right here. I can see pretty well. It's just about 3 p.m. now. I've been sitting on this north slope. I kind of came over onto the snowy side so I can glass to the north which is uh, glassing to the next canyon and the next south slope. I'm glad I did. <laughs> I glassed a white elk shed. Looks like a right side. It's laying tines down over there. I can't really tell how big. Yeah they've been on this top but they definitely didn't shed here. There's probably a lot of snow here uh, earlier. But anyway still having a good day. Spotted that shed. That makes two for me. So I'm pretty stoked, both white. I'd love to get into some browns. To do so, I think we just have to zigzag. It's been a long day, guys. I went bailing all over trying to find more tracks. And you know what? This was the best stuff. This is right where I was earlier. I found mine here. Ellie found hers down lower. And uh, what do you know? Come up here, right where I've already walked and find this little guy. Holy cow, I don't find him that small very often, but what is he doing this high in elevation? <laughs> a four point. Man, I haven't found one that small for a long time. That's pretty cool though. We just all met up, got a little snack, got hydrated. Now we're uh, getting out of here, but Joel found one. See your chalk. Way chalk. Ancient. Ellie found the best one of the day. <laughs> Five point brown. Look how black it is too. That's super cool. Pretty warm. So apparently we found uh, some of this higher elevation stuff where, <clears throat> if I had to guess, some of these bulls that shed this high are probably migrating back, dropping them as they go. I don't know if they really wintered there. But hey, <clears throat> four sheds and we last one, so five sheds today. Yep. Better than yesterday. Now we're just gonna head down. Maybe, maybe if there's time, I'll go get that shed tonight, but if not, we'll walk down there and get it tomorrow. But one thing's for sure, we're cooking dinner. A good one. I'm glad I wore my tall boots. I got these tall crispies. Look at that. Not a drop inside, no way. Know how. You gotta cross that creek like five or six times too, so. These have been handy this trip. Pretty much ran down this mountain, but that shed literally is right here. Yeah, there it is. Let's go check it out. Looks pretty decent. Not bad. I 
because you know, it's gonna be a climb out of here because I literally ran down here. That's cool. Looks like last year's. Looks well, like the other ones we found. Not bad. Just gonna grab that and get out of here, guys. Oh, there's a little push down here. It's gonna be a bigger push getting out. Whew. I can catch my breath and run up there. And head back so we can cook some dinner. Oh, it doesn't look like many bowls. Some bowls have been here, but not many. Look at this. We're gonna have a fire tonight. Thanks to Joel for taking the quad out and getting uh, firewood. Thanks to me and Ellie for cooking dinner. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. <laughs> okay, hurry. No, you guys gotta eat these serious. They're getting like crisp, <laughs> like a tortilla chip. Hurry. Ladies first. Do you like stuffed or do you like it small so you can actually that's fold it? Good. Yep, that's good. They're gonna be yep. like overloading yeah, that's me. stuff. A lot or a little? That's perfect. Doing a horrible job of filming this. <laughs> okay, there's perfect. cheese and lettuce over yonder. Well, like I said earlier, we pulled out five. Here they are. We found where the small bulls go to shed. I, I typically never find little guys on this mountain, but we got five of them, so they do exist. <laughs> I'm gonna build a plate, but I'm gonna see how do you guys you like see it? this right now? A little lettuce, a little cheese. Oh, lots of cheese. What's, What's tonight? Right? Saturday? Is it Taco Saturday, Saturday night? It's Saturday. <laughs> Who needs a Tuesday? <laughs> Nobody needs Tuesday for tacos. Tacos every day. I think right. I'm gonna go uh, taco salad. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna do a bed of lettuce. The goods, we got plenty of lettuce. Throw the goods on there. Onion. There we go. Just a little bit of cheese there. Now, I really have been doing so good this month staying off of ketchup, but I think I earned it today. So just a little ketchup on my taco salad. Not your typical taco salad. I think most people put ranch and an actual salad dressing, but I'm basically having a taco minus a tortilla. I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy that here for a few seconds. Check it out. Wrapping up uh, day number two, our, our little shed trip with a taco salad. Mm. And uh, again, Joel and Ellie killing it today. Joel is vlogging his stuff and putting it on his channel, right. Whitetail Fit. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. We, uh, we burned a lot of calories today. Had a lot of fun. Turned up five sheds. Tomorrow we're going to get back at it. We're going to probably do about a half a day at least hard. Not a full day. We got to tear down camp and everything. And still we have like a two and a half hour drive home. But thanks for watching the video guys. If you're enjoying it, stick around for tomorrow's video. And yeah, we're just going to sit and chill. See you guys tomorrow.